Welcome to Packard Portraits, where we share some time with people right across Australia. In particular, those that have chosen Kenworth and DAF trucks to be a driving force in their business. In this snapshot, we are pleased to introduce you to a Packard customer story. I'm Ian Hunt. I'm a farmer at Lockhart. And we bought the Kenworth truck in November through Inland Truck Centre in Wagga. Bought it set up so we can put on PBS to run sort of 38 to a 39 tonne payload, the same as what you'd nearly get on a B-double, but still a smaller, easier truck. Um, it's got an ISX Cummins in it, set at 485 horsepower. Um, we'll use it for harvest and then use it for a bit of um, taking grain down south and bringing gypsum back. Um, service is very good. Rang them up on a Friday afternoon for the first service on a Monday morning and they had me in and out in no time and it was great. Today we took a load of wheat down to Oakland's at the Grain Corp Centre there, which is left over from harvest time and then went on down to Kerrang to the gypsum mine at Cumco where we've picked up a load of gypsum, which is sulphur, that we spread over the um, fellow country that goes into canola. We wanted a big payload with a reasonably small truck so you didn't have to go into a B-double. Um, easy to handle truck that had more than one compartment so we could put super in one and seed in the other. To, we wanted a quality truck that um, you wouldn't have too many problems with, that you could find parts anywhere handy and have a deal with it's local to us. With a sleeper just as an emergency sleeper, not something that you're gonna use every day. Surprisingly twice as big as when you look at the truck. When you look at the truck you think there's no room and everyone that has a look at it gets a rude shock because it's like, I've slept in it probably half a dozen times now and you've got plenty of room. Yeah, we've got ABS and um, active stability control on it and it's all been engineered through Hamlex White to meet the PBS regulations in Victoria and New South Wales. So you'll get between 38 and 39 tonne payload on it. Difference in rego between a quad dog and a and a um, B double is about half the price. Yeah, very economical configuration, good on fuel and um, good payload with two less axles and eight less tyres. Neat and tidy truck that hopefully will last us for 20 years without a problem. 